OK, uh, so welcome to today's lab. So today we will use Tableau uh, to analyze Twitter data in MongoDB. Uh, so in our uh, data mining classes, we used Python to collect some tweets uh, in MongoDB. And also we can use MongoDB chart, which is a cloud BI tools to visualize Twitter data, which is uh, uh, that is in the non SQL database. So this week, we will see that how we can use Tableau to visualize data from non SQL database. And also we are using Twitter data as an example. So to start, just want to give you an idea that how the data being collected. So we are, I was using the Twitter API and collect tweets in this area. So that is in Harrisonburg, Virginia, with a radius of five miles. So I didn't set any keywords. And I have this more than 13,000 tweets from 2,700 users. So the tweets, the tweets are stored on this MongoDB Atlas, so that a cloud non-SQL database. And you can see that in this database, the data are not organized as tables, but instead as documents. So the JSON documents, where the documents can be nested. So here we can see we have ID of the objects, ID of the tweets in string format, and also in the uh, number format. We have the time that the tweets being sent out. We have the text. And some tweets have uh, hashtags and also mentioned users, etc. So those are in this nasty document that called entities. So if there's a hashtag, we have a list of all the hashtags. OK. And if they have mentioned users, so that will be in this mentioned user um, key. And we also have the user information that is in this user keys. Uh, some tweets also have coordinates and some tweets may not. So uh, we also have those coordinations and also the other information like number of tweets being favorited, uh, the times that the tweets has been favorited uh, and also retweeted and also place that tweets being sent out and also language of the tweets. OK, so that is a, a typical tweet data. Again, that is in this JSON document. So now let's start Tableau. OK, so Tableau is uh, a BI tool that is great to visualize a uh, structured data set. But MongoDB provides the BI connector that convert those JSON document, those non-SQL non tables into flat structured tables so that we can use Tableau to visualize uh, uh, MongoDB data. So if you cannot find out the option of the MongoDB BI connector, you can click more. And you can see this uh, MongoDB BI connector. And we can click that one. Um, you may also need to install the MySQL driver. So if you haven't done that, so you may need to install that one uh, to use the MongoDB BI connector. And here, uh, the server URL is on Canvas. The pod is also the default one. The username is Dymo. Uh, we can leave the database as uh, empty. And the password is also on Canvas. OK, so let me sign in. And it's similar like uh, other relational database. So here you can see we have a demo, which is a, a database that contains the tweet data. And if we drag the tweet table, which is already been dragged. We can see actually uh, MongoDB organize all the different nasty document as separate tables. OK, so they organize the other keys as separate tables. For example, in this tweet table, we have all the root keys, like ID, uh, time being created, and also number of favorites, and also the other informations. And for the other keys, Remember that for like the, the hashtag keys, the mentioned user keys, coordinates keys, they are stored in those separate tables. So that we can, if we want to analyze hashtag, we need to drag this one that to join with our tweet key, a tweet table in this case. Okay, so before we do that, we can see there are a lot of fields, columns. So let's exclude some 
unnecessary fields. So let's go to the list view. Let's say we want uh, ex exclude those three fields so we can hide those fields. Let's keep the created ad favorite count. Uh, let's also keep uh, the, the ID in a string format. Uh, you can also keep some other fields that you're interested. So for example, I keep the language. Okay, and I also want to keep the text, which is the content of the tweet. Okay, and I also want to keep the user ID in the string format. Okay, uh, user ID and also probably the username. Again, you can keep um, the field that you're interested. Okay. Uh, and next, you can see that the created ad actually is a, a date time field. And however, right now, uh, Tableau desktop cannot convert this one into date time automatically. However, uh, Tableau prep can convert, is able to convert that one into the right format, but Tableau desktop cannot. And also, I have some other issues using <laughs> Tableau uh, prep. So let's keep using desktop for this lab and hopefully uh, in the future versions of Tableau or the MongoDB uh, so they can resolve those issues because MongoDB BI connector is something that is pretty new. Okay, so here let's say we want to extract the time information and also the day of the month, the year. Okay, those information. So let's split this field by using custom split. Let's split by space. And we want to keep all of those uh, results. OK, uh, so this is the day of the week. Let's hide that one. Um, this is the month in a string format. OK, so I just call it month in a string format. This is the day of the month, OK? And I'm going to convert that one into number. OK, so we will use that one later. Um, let's leave the time here. This is the time zone. So let's hide the time zone. And this is the year. And I also convert that one into a, a number. OK, so now let's handle the time. So time, we need to split again. So this case, we want to split with colon. And also, we want to keep everything. OK. Uh, so now we have three new columns, which are the hour, uh, the minute, and also the second. OK. And let's convert all of them into uh, integers. OK, so it's on the very right, so integers. OK, and the second is also convert into integers. All right, uh, so let's hide uh, this time and also let's hide this one. OK, so that's great for this twist table. Uh, we also want to see the coordinates, so let's drag coordinates, okay? And let's keep the default relationship. You can see there's nothing we can do here. Uh, we can see some tweets, they do have uh, coordinates, but most of the tweets will not have coordinates. Let's also drag hashtags, okay? Um, some tweets have hashtag. Again, there's nothing we can change for the uh, relationship. Some tweets have hashtag and some tweets not have hashtag. Okay, so now we have three tables: the tweets table, um, the tweet coordinates table. Let's drag index into dimension. Okay, and also hashtag table. Where let's drag hashtag index into dimension as well. 
OK, so let's first let's try to understand the relationship. So here we so the BI connector of MongoDB convert the JSON document into a flat table. So let's try to understand the structure. So let's drag ID of the tweets. So that's the most detailed records that are unique for each single tweet. And let's drag the text. All right, and we can see that uh, each unique tweet has its corresponding text. And there's also one corresponding author. OK, so one user. So one user sent out the tweets. Uh, if we put that one in front of the tweet ID, we can see this user sent out multiple tweets. And this user sent out multiple tweets. OK. Uh, let's also drag the hashtags. OK, and remember that some tweets contain multiple hashtags and some tweets may not have any hashtag. So if they don't have any hashtags, those will be non uh, records for that single tweet. OK, so let's see the joint result. And we, ha we also need to be patient because now we are sending the queries back to MongoDB. All right, and you can see that for these tweets, it has two hashtags. For these tweets, they have two hashtags. And for this tweet, there's only one hashtag. OK, and if you uh, go through the other tweets, and you will find out some tweets, they don't have any hashtag. All right, and let's look at the coordinates. So let's put the users, those out. And now let's drag the coordinates index. OK, so here we have an error. So let's refresh. So sometimes if you cannot see those uh, tables, you can try to refresh the data source. OK, so here, like, see, I missed, uh, I lost this hashtag. So uh, if I refresh it, and hopefully that will sh showing up later. OK, so after I refresh it, and so it came back. Uh, OK, again, um, Tableau uh, and also the MongoDB uh, uh, BI Connect is something pretty new. So it's not very stable. And we will see, a, we may see some errors later. OK, uh, so those hidden documents are back again. OK, let's just use that one now. OK, so let's drag indexed. OK, so let's do it one more time. So again, the index is in this dimension. You can see most of the tweets, they don't have any coordinates. So that's why they are uh, none. OK, and now let's drag uh, the tweets coordinates. Uh, to be able to see those results, so let's convert that one to discrete. OK, and we can see most of the tweets, they don't have any coordinates. Uh, so let me find out one tweet that have a coordinates. OK, this one. OK, so for example, these tweets ha do have a coordinates. And you can see it has two index, 0 and 1. And we can see 0 stands for the longitude, and 1 stands for the latitude. OK. OK, so hopefully right now you have a better understanding of the data so that basically so Tableau MongoDB uh, converted all those uh, nasty document into f a very flat tables and they put those nasty document into multiple separate tables and we need to join them together uh, to to have the data that we want. OK, so before we create start to create visualizations, so let's save this workbook. OK, to our OneDrive folder. And so this will be our lab five. OK, uh, so now let's try to do something that um, easier. So for example, if I want to see the number of tweets in total, OK, I just need to you know, double click that one. 
and I see the number twist in total, which is exactly the same number we saw on uh, in Python. If you recall that, and if I want to see the languages, and we can also do that. Okay, so English is the most popular ones, and if you also want to see the favorite average fa average favorite, and uh, you can see here. Okay, so they're almost the same. Okay. Okay, so you can try to do something that you like. Okay, so now let's go to our um, lab. So the first visualization is that I want to see a word cloud showing the number of hashtags. So that means I click hashtags and the count of the hashtags. And I can start with a uh, um, tree map. Okay, and now if I change that one into a text, the marker into text, so now I have this word cloud. And you can see there are a lot of uh, hashtags, so I just want to fill out the top 50, let's say. So let's drag the hashtag into filter, hit the control key, and release. Say I want the top uh, 50 hashtags. Okay. And if I also want to give each single hashtag a different color, so I again drag the hashtag to the color marker, release. Okay, and in this case, the legend will not make sense because there are too many um, <laughs> colors. Again, this is just for the illustration purposes. Remember that hashtag is not uh, recommended for the accurate comparison. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, the second visualization is that I want to see that um, the, the users, okay, who are the popular users? So let's say I drag username. Okay, and you can see there are some um, very interesting uh, um, symbols that is because those are special characters that Tableau cannot display that. And if I drag the favorite count, here and I have a very nice bar chart. Okay, and that just shows that which user send out the most number of the tweets. Okay, and you can see this is a very long bar chart. So again, let's drag the username into filter, hit the control key. Let's see, we just want the top 10 users. Okay, so which is uh, better? Okay, so the top 10 users that send out most number of tweets. And we can see this user send out almost 600 tweets. All right, uh, let's go to next. So here I see, I want to see the number of tweets at over time. Okay, remember that uh, uh, we have created add field, but Tableau desktop right now still cannot convert at one into time field. So we have to do that manually. Uh, so fortunately, we have day of the month, hour, year, uh, and also months in a string format, second, minute, etc. Okay. So let's create a field manually. So let's call this one date. And in Tableau, we can use a make date function. The first is a year, so it is the year field. The second is months, and also remember that we require the integers. However, in our data set, the months was in letter format. So let's just simply tap number one because everything is collected in January. If you have multiple months, uh, you may need to use an if statement to convert the, the months from letters into uh, numbers. And finally, let's drag day of the month. Okay, so now we have a nice date format, a uh, date field. Okay, so if, if we expand. Okay, and we can see that in, in multiple days. All right, and uh, let's try to do the same thing for the time. So uh, I had errors when I was testing this lab. So let's see if I have when I create, try to create uh, the time field. So let's see if I have, uh, 
I'm lucky this time. So time is also called make time. Where we just drag the hours, okay, and minute, and also second. Okay, so let's save the workbook and see if the time worked. Okay, I, I had this same error, so all right, so look, looks like we cannot create time. Um, so let's just forget about time, let's just use date. Just FYI, so if for some reason you are able to create date and time, and you can combine the date field and also time field to a date time field, which we are using the make date time, that you can drag the date and also the time field together. So you can create a date time field. And however, since now we have errors for the time field, Again, I guess because um, <laughs> there still need to be some improvement for the either Tableau or the MongoDB, so that I think the date time field will also not be a success. All right. Never mind. So let's just use date and also tweet count, and let's create a line chart. So let's add look at the day levels. Okay, and you can see. Oh, we have uh, a lot of hits sent out in uh, January the 22nd. Okay. Okay, in the January 22nd. Okay, so that is our line chart. Uh, I just converted that one from dimension into uh, mirrors so that we can see the uh, uh, the months and also date information. Okay, our last one is an interesting one. So uh, I want to see a map showing the number of tweets in different locations. So just as a reminder that not all the tweets have coordinates. So if I look at the indexes and also coordinates, Okay, and to say that one number, let's convert that one into um, discrete. Okay, so we, we see we do have few tweets that have coordinates, but the, the layout is that for index, for those indexes. So if the coordinate index is zero, so that is longitude. If the coordinates is one, that is latitude. Okay, so let's try to create a calculated field to capture longitude and latitude. So let's go to analysis. First, let's calculate the longitude, which we see that if this one equals zero, then we will have the coordinates. Okay, and We don't need to count. Okay, so if the index equals zero and okay, uh, so here we have errors. I think is because the coordinates is index is not considered uh, dimensions. So let's drag that one back to mirrors. Okay, so longitude. So if this one equals zero, then we will return the coordinates. And OK, so now that worked. OK, so zero is longitude. Let's copy this one. So now we have longitude. And let's create a new, let's call it latitude. So in this case, if index equals one, okay, index equals one, that is will be latitude. Okay, so now we have longitude and also latitude. Okay, and now let's uh, move those stuff out. Okay, let's keep the filter. Uh, let's say this one will be latitude, so geographic rules. 
okay and that will be latitude and this one will be longitude geographic rules longitude all right so now if we click both and we can create a map and you can say this in Harrisonburg and because we are showing the aggregated, aggregated result so that's why there's only one single point and now if we drag the tweet ID okay into details tweet ID into details okay and now we can see where are those tweets being sent out okay so that's pretty nice and if you don't like this uh, map background and we can go to map and we can change different map like say if we use street okay and we all know that where they are being sending out and if you like you can also put the text into the tool tip okay and that's okay so then not do that okay again so uh, it's very so right now it's still uh, I think a lot of technical challenges to use BI tool to visualize those non SQL data so hopefully in the near future so we will not see those errors okay so let's keep all those sheets as it is now and let's go to a dashboard let's um, put our visualizations on this dashboard okay and you can also customize your layout and we can also hide those titles okay so that we can have uh, more space okay and I will not enable filters because you know I, I don't want to get troubles <laughs> right now so let's add um, title for this dashboard and this is our lab 5 okay so we we did some very simple uh, data visualizations but I think uh, the lesson we learned from this class is that we are using a data resource that is from non-relational database okay and by using the BI connector from MongoDB and we we see that there's still a lot of things that uh, either Tableau or MongoDB can improve and hopefully um, in the near future so uh, we don't we, we will not have those technical difficulties okay uh, so that is for our lab 5 and as always we can export this uh, sheet this dashboard okay and also make sure we save our workbook